All right, guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Card Game Spotlight. Today's game up on the tabletop, we got Spooker by David Shepard. Spooker is a game where you can play from three to about five players, and you're going to get a deck of cards. In the deck of cards, you're going to get ghosts from the numbers one to 50. Now, depending on how many players you're going to be playing the game with, will determine how many cards you're going to be getting. In a three-player game, it tells you that you're going to get one through 30 ghosts, plus a Grim Reaper. And then the four player, you get one to 40. And then a five player, you get one through 50. And also in the five player, you're going to get two Reapers. Now, what are Reapers? Reapers are instant wins. Well, let me explain. This is a trick taking game. And every single player is going to get dealt five cards. Just like that. So if we played a, oh, let's say we played a three player game. Make it easy. Then you're going to get the deck over here. And you're going to flip over five, which will form the graveyard. Just like that. Now, as you see, each and every one of these guys is a ghost. Some of them are very similar, but yet their numbers are not. For instance, you have an explorer, which is 46 strength, and an explorer, which is 47. Also, you're going to notice that they're going to have different colors, which will re re resemble or affiliate their abilities. So, on a turn for a trick-taking game, you're simply going to play a card from your hand. And if you're going to go first, you're going to determine which ghost you're going to be playing a card on. So, we'll just say that this guy gets to go first. He's got that lovely green reaper here. He's got 18, 19, 20 and a 21. So he's going to look across here, and none of these are very beneficial for him. Now he's going to get that freebie for the Grim Reaper, so he can probably save that for last. Every time he scores a trick, he's going to get to keep one of the cards, and it's going to be worth one point. A 38 is just the same value as a 7. So maybe he's going to play... Ooh, I don't know. Jeez. This is a tough spot. He play his 21 on the Grifter. Now, obviously, if he is able to match a symbol, so for instance, is a red symbol, he could choose to play this clergy and match that symbol because both of these cards are going to have red. And if he did that, he'd actually reverse the strength order for the meeting, which might be beneficial for him. I mean, I guess we'll try that. So instead of uh, needing to get to 38, you, can, you have to go all the way down instead. So the lowest number gets it. Now, another thing to note, too, is if you go over the ghost number that you play on, then you're going to end up losing, unless everybody else's number is also over. So if your, your number is 38, you're going to want to get 37. That's as close as you can without going over, kind of like the price is right, right? Also, if you can match the symbol, you can use that special ability on your card. Now, the next player is only going to get to play on the ghost the first player chose to play on. And he has got the lowest number, right? Because that was a reversed order. He will play that, which is going to give him a 13, which is lower than 18. So he's now winning. It says, now add a new ghost to the graveyard. So you take another ghost and you put it to the graveyard. After that, the last player is going to get a shot to go. And he's going to look for a slow, low, low number. And he has found one. This is a three. And yet again, it's another red. So we're going to see what it does. Look at another player's hand. So you can take somebody else's hand, take a peek at it, put it down. And then he scores the ghost because this first player chose to make it lowest number instead of highest number or highest closest to without going over. The rest of the cards get burned into the extra graveyard pile or the graveyard graveyard pile, right? And the player um, that last one gets to go first now. So we move this ghost up just like that. And we don't refresh. We just keep going. We're going to do three rounds of this. So um, this character would go. Or this player would go. This player would go. This player would go. And then we would do it until all the cards in our hand are gone. And all, you know, so all five ghosts in the field are gone. Now because we draw this one extra one, there's only going to be four. And there'll be one remaining when we have no cards left. And after that, we're going to start a whole new round for each and every player. And after that, we're going to tally up the points. We'll do one more round, though, for fun. Let's see what we're going to do. So we have a 44 here, which is pretty nice, which there's a 46. So we'll be doing that one because it's the closest without going over. Now the next player is going to get a chance to go. And he is nowhere near that, as we remember. But he could play the clergy if he wanted, and that would reverse the strength order. He doesn't want to do that because this is the last order. We'll just go ahead and do the Grim Reaper. Now, the Grim Reaper says if it's on the graveyard uh, field, when it gets flipped over, everybody discards a card. However, if it is on top, if, it was, if it's in the mix here, he instantly wins. So whereas the 44 was pretty much going to win, the Grim Reaper basically stole that away from him. And now he, this character here gets to throw something away. So he's going to go ahead and toss this 22 away. This is not useful. It goes over these guys and is way under these guys. So the player who played the Grim Reaper would be the winner and would get that point. Once all the ghosts go away, except for the ghosts that we added, we added, then obviously, and then everything is also gone. We'll draw, we'll deal out five, we'll shuffle the graveyard into this card pile and we'll deal out five cards every player and we'll flip over five new ghosts. 
rinse and repeat. In a three player game, you would do it three times, in a four, four, and in a five, five. Okay, after all that's done, you add up the total amount of cards in everybody's, in everybody's score pile, and whoever has the most points is the winner. And that is how you play Spooker. All right, well, let me tell you what I think about it. Now, first of all, Spook is a fun, quick little trick-taking game. I played it with an eight-year-old, and they instantly understood how to play the game, which was nice. Uh, it's not, not one game for her, because she likes games that are more, um, a little less thinking. This one does involve a little bit of thinking, but if your kid likes this kind of stuff, it's definitely going to work for them. It also works for an older crowd. Now, like many trick-taking games, it's a lot about luck and the cards in your hand, but you because of these abilities here that change the... You know, can change their order, they can draw new ghosts, you can do a whole bunch of things with these little abilities here, you're going to be able to reverse the flow of the game or change the tide. If you have a really bad hand, but you have matching abilities, you're set. Now, if you have no matching abilities and no good and not a good hand for the cards, better luck next round, right? And that's kind of how a trick-taking game works. Either way, though, it's a very light and very fun trick-taking game with a bunch of little ghosts. And the theme is really cool, too. Basically, you're trying to... Uh, you have a bunch of ghosts in your mansion, but you want even better, bigger, scarier ones. So you're trying to kind of coerce them into your mansion, right? And that is how the, that's the theme of the game. And it works really well. And a lot of us have had a lot of fun with the game. Uh, I think it just takes that specific person who enjoys trick-taking games and realizes that there is a bit of luck in the game as to what card you draw. Although, with the powers, you're able to change just a little bit of that. And if you got that Grim Reaper, you have ultimate power. But anyway, that is how you play Spooker. And here is the Kickstarter link in the description below.